Okay, mathematical functions, I have written a little, you've seen them in PHP. I've got a program on mathematical functions. Let's go ahead and go to that in Eclipse. So I call this a math library example, and I just went to the web, typed in uh, math libraries or math something Java, and up came all that came this program. I thought it was great. And what he's going to do, he's going to strict type some variables. Here's an integer. Here's a double. And he's just going to start running all these math functions. And so the way the math functions are run in Java is you just declare the name math and then dot whatever you want to do. So here's an absolute value. So for example, if uh, you have the number minus 9 and you want the absolute value of j, which is minus 9, what will be the answer? Well, the absolute value takes the negative away, right? So I want to run that and I want to find the absolute value of, of j. See the error right there? So what would be the absolute value of minus 9? So the absolute value of, of minus 9 would be... Oh, you don't, you've never used absolute value before? Okay, what the absolute value does, it takes a negative uh, number and turn, makes it positive. Oh, you got it. There it is. I have it all explained here. You know, I didn't write this program, so I haven't even read that. I just, I just ran it. Now let's go ahead and run into pr this program real quick here, and you can see the results, okay? There's a lot of math stuff being calculated in this program. It shows you how to use a lot of the math functions. So it's saying i is 7, j is not, minus 9, x is 72, y is 3.4. Oh, and you know what he's doing with that pipe? He's just, you see it's been quote, so he can just treat it as a string. He's using that to just uh, create these absolute value symbols right here. So he's saying the absolute value of minus 9 is 9. Now what Java method did he do the, to, to turn minus 9 to 9? He used math.absoluteValue. That is in the Java library. Okay, you don't have to write that. All you have to do is math.absoluteValue if you ever need an absolute value. Now, since you weren't quite familiar with that method, there are other methods that you will be familiar with, such as rounding. Okay, you may not be familiar with the ideas of ceiling and floor. Have you ever heard those ideas before? Okay, let me just cover those real quick here. What a ceiling does, in a sense, it finds the highest possible integer. So if I have 3.2, the highest possible integer would be 4. You see that? So it pushes everything up to the highest possible integer. What a floor does is just the opposite. If I had 3.2, it pushes it down to the lowest possible integer, and that would turn it to a 3. Okay, and so that's what that does. And so what I, as opposed to me going through all these math functions that we'll use, and when you go through Bucky's video, he uses them extensively. He'll bring you up to speed where you need to be. Uh, I'm just going to sh show you this program. Hey, say, study this program, look at it, make sure you understand it, all right? Because you'll be using these math methods. Now, here's, ones that's, here's one that's really useful, and that's the minimum of two things or the maximum of two things. So you might have two numbers, you know, 5 or 10, and you want to know the minimum or you want to know the max. So math.min will give you the min number, and math.max uh, math will give you the max number. And you probably know from business experience that that max or min can be very important, find the min of something or find the max of something. Okay, so you, there's just another example of a math method that's in Java that's right there. Just, to go, just have to go math dot whatever. Here's one pi. If you go math dot pi, you're actually going to get 3.146 and on and on, okay? Math dot e is another math number, and you may have heard of the uh, trigonometric relationships, sine and cosine. Those are also mathematics, math functions which are automatically uh, available to you in Java. Just by using the math dot, here's exponential, here's log. So I'm just showing you all these, here's power, here's square root. So all these, here's random that will randomly generate a number for you. So all these math methods are automatically uh, available in Java just using the math dot class. So the math class is what it's called in Java. Okay? So I, I just put that function in there. You just want to run that, and when you run it, you just want to go through it and, say, and confirm uh, that you understand what those mean. And maybe you don't know what some of these mathematical functions do, but don't worry about it. Uh, once again, go through Bucky's stuff. He uses them, and he'll bring you up to speed on what you need to do. I'm going to move forward with this lesson, okay? I think that's good. That's good. You've got the class there. Just run it and play around with it. And so they're showing you some of these mathematical functions. I went through a lot more than they go through the lectures. And here we're going to get to conditionals. And what I'm going to do at this point right now, I'm going to have save this video and start up again. So, so we're at about 40 minutes. I want to save it so it doesn't crash and I lose it, all right? And we'll start with conditionals.